Hey guys, today is December 31st and I didn't get my five year anniversary out this month and I apologize. Uh, a lot has been going on in my life, not necessarily about me, but about being a medical transport for my stepdad and eyes and ears at the doctor's offices, etc, 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 etc. So, this month I had my five year anniversary on the 13th. It was my 55th birthday. And uh, there's been a lot to say, but not necessarily so much about physical changes. Uh, real quick, my hair is getting thick on top again. Um, I did participate in No Shape November. And I've trimmed it around here, it goes down to here. And I've trimmed the length of it twice now. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep it because it really itches me bad in here. But I might just do the chin strap all the way around. I'm not sure. My ears are still growing. Uh, my face looks fuller right in here. Now, I just looked at my dad's photo. And he's about 30, 32, I think, in that photo. Um... And he's got the full face here too. Uh, I have gained like 10 pounds, 10 between 10 and 13 pounds since my surgery last August of 2015. Uh, <clears throat> I think a lot of it's been stress. Uh, I went through a um, emotional roller coaster uh, for a while. I think I talked about that in my earlier video. I'm past that. I don't know really what has pulled me out of it or what put me into it. I don't know. I just felt off. And so um, I started taking some GABA Calm, G-A-B-A -A Calm. It's a um, just a calm and it, it helps with the neurons and helps with the serotonin and stuff like that. And it, it, did, it did help me and I, I continued to take it. Uh, as far as muscles are concerned, um, I really cannot report the full force of them. I just haven't been back to the gym. And that's just the way it is. And I don't see me being able to go to the gym in the near future until this is over with my stepdad. Um, so in the meantime, uh, I've, I've kind of gone off, gone back to some old eating habits. I learned that I'm a comfort eater. Not so much um, in quantities, uh, but qualities of food. Uh, through that time that I was up and down, I noticed that I just wanted to sabotage myself. That's how it felt. So what would I do? I'd eat more pastries. I'd buy donuts. I'd buy, you know, I'd end up with a massive headache through the night. Um, I started crashing after eating sugar. Uh, I started eating ice cream again. Uh, craving ice cream every once in a while. I'd have the Briars ice cream, the little, the little thing of it, but it's the tub is this long. I would eat the whole thing at one time. Yeah. So, I have mentally uh, got a handle back on that, and not necessarily because it's the first of the year. Uh, I've come to a point where I need to change my eating habits because it's bringing me down emotionally, um, and I don't want to go there again. So, functioning as a male in public, uh, I feel really... comfortable um, especially now that all my surgeries are done I know that doesn't define us but for me uh, it didn't necessarily define me as male but it made my all my overall self-esteem better confidence um, it was something I needed for me and my medical transition I do um, identify as a straight male and uh, so it really really has helped me all the way around uh, 
being able to have the surgeries and not have to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, and I want to thank President Obama for that. I don't care how many of you haters are out there about him, but he's done a lot of good things for this country and he's done a lot of good things for the LGBT community. So um, I want to thank him personally. He'll never see this, but a kudos to him and his family. They are class, a class act. Uh, geez, you know, um, there's there's so many things going on right now. Uh, as far as the community is concerned, we just had a missing trans woman in our community. Uh, she disappeared Tuesday. Uh, she's been to our the support group that I go to, and. Uh, Man, she, I just thought she had it all together, but they found her today. Uh, it appears that she's committed suicide. She was out at one of our big parks by the river, and uh, they just found her in a search today. Um, it's sad. It's devastated us because that's too, since I've been transitioning and going to this group, that has committed suicide and did not give us any signs. Uh, I talked in an earlier video that we lost one uh, trans boy, trans a trans young man, I shouldn't say boy, but he just reminded me of a boy. Um, went to support and that night he was laughing. He, he had gotten a part in the college play and, and he was happy and then they found him three days later in his home. Dogs were barking and uh, he had committed suicide. So. Uh, the real the real suiciders usually don't give you a what's up and so just try to be there for people I know a lot of people play a lot of emotions on people and and uh, do things to get attention when they don't need to do things to get attention um, some of its devastating some of its uh, well not devastating but some of its just wear and tear on people and uh, but you know, um, this just goes to show us that our community still is very vulnerable in a lot of ways. And um, we got to be there for each other. Now, I myself, because of my wife's wishes and her job, um, we are not out in public. Uh, as far as like in this search, we didn't go because I didn't want her, even though there's allies there. Uh, she just didn't want any um, questions about anything. So I respected those wishes. Plus today is her 47th birthday. So uh, we did our thing together and I just prayed. I prayed for uh, Jay, you know, and wish that she was just maybe a little disgruntled, you know, um, and and found that way. But, uh, you know, today's Saturday, and anyway, it's just sad. It, it's devastating, and uh, it's just as devastating as the election was for me, and I, I just won't even go into that, but you just wonder sometimes, you know, how can you help people that you don't know need help? For, in, for example, like me, I really am an inward person. I'm a very positive person. And nine times out of ten, people don't realize I'm even depressed or quiet or, you know, uh, I'm just inward. Oh, excuse me. Um, so, but when I need to say something, I do say it. Uh, when I'm, when things build up inside of me, I have to release them. I just have to because it's not healthy for me. I've learned that through life. And uh, I'm still learning it in my life. But emotion-wise, uh, I do, and I'll say again, I cannot multitask. I do notice a big difference that I don't always need to react. That sometimes I just sit back and kind of throw my eyeballs inside my head and roll them, you know, and like, really? But uh, it, it's, it's, it has changed in that way. Uh, when I'm out in public, I just, you know, I, I've come to accept that I'm this 55-year-old male 
who's disabled, who isn't in the best shape. Um, I may ne never ever get rid of this middle part of my body simply because I am in a recliner 50% of my time. Um, what keeps me healthy is the little bit I'm active. Uh, as far as strongness, let me also say uh, we've been doing some remodel and repairing on uh, Tony's mom's mobile home and I have been able to tear things down, lift things, pull things, you name it, uh, without any effort. And that's one thing that's changed. I've always been strong and, and I probably could have done it before, but I'm saying without effort. And so I was like feeling good, you know, while I was doing that, I was feeling manly. Um, but it's nice to see that um, her mom and Tony uh, depend on me for those kind of things. And even though her mom's always uh, appreciated everything we've done for her and always knew that I could figure out how to do something for her, repair something if it needed, uh, I think she feels even more secure because I'm male now, if that makes any sense. So, uh, guys, thir five years on testosterone, my levels uh, are still kind of up and down. Uh, I'm not worrying about it anymore. I'm carrying a little bit more estrogen. I can tell by the fat redistribution in my body and also the emotions a little bit more sensitive at times than, than it has been. Um, I I'm just really thankful. I I'm just thankful for being able to be me. Uh, I talked a little bit about a cousin who should have known and understood everything about this. Uh, he flew in, him and his wife and son flew in from Tennessee, and he had called my sister and asked if everybody could get together. He'd like to see everybody. I haven't seen him in 13 years. And I, she called me and I said, really? He blocked me from Facebook. Are you sure he wants to see me? And so she called him back. and. And, uh, well, I didn't ask her to call him back. I just said, I really have to do some soul searching if I want to put myself in that position. And I guess she just wanted to know. And she called him, and he, he was just floored. He goes, heck no, I'm not against him. Uh, he's my favorite cousin. Uh, I guess what had happened, his sons were hacking in his phone and posting a lot of gay bashing and stuff. And they joke about that on Facebook. They think it's a joke. And he didn't want anybody seeing it from uh, this side of the family. And he thought he blocked me from seeing his posts. But he blocked me, period. And uh, so I saw him. It was good to see him. It was good to see him as male. And, you know, and he told me, well, he told his son, his son told me, well, dad told me you kicked his ass all, all growing up. And I said, yep, and nothing's changed. <laughs> They just started laughing. Uh, he's about two inches taller than me, but I'm probably just as big as far as muscle mass and stuff as he is. Um, but it was good to see him, um, you know, whether it is true or not what he said, who knows. The The point is, is that uh, we saw each other and it, it just felt like we were kids again, you know. So I feel a little bit better about that. Uh, but... As far as life and stuff, we just keep going forward. We've really got to pray or keep the positive energy or blow in or burn incense for positiveness for our community here in this future with the politics. And man, I just don't know what's going to happen. I have to believe that our judicial system and our, the branches of our, our government is in line with um, not allowing things to happen that would cause people to go back into slavery and civil rights movements happen to be all over again. I just can't believe that would happen no matter what the the uh, media says. Uh, I know there is a lot of anti-LGBTQ men out there. They're all white. They're all in politics. So um, let's pray for them. Um, not that they will help, but let's pray that someone steps up that can help and does defend us as like in Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren and all these people that are for us still continue to be for us. Um, but anyway, I got to get off here because I'm running out of time. You guys take it one day at a time and always make your journey as simple as possible. We'll talk to you later. Bye.